Uh, Emily Thornbury, um, there's been a lot of attacks on your party's patriotism and so forth over the last mm. few weeks, as you've seen. And another story in the papers today about Jeremy Corbyn and the IRA. Um, what's your message to those people who are patriotic, working-class voters, and they look at this stuff and they say, I just don't like it? Well, I think that there were, there were negotiations going on behind the scenes and there were people speaking openly. And, uh, and, this has been, and this is something which has been known for 30 years and it's being dragged up at this particular time because there's a general election on. And I think Not that, surprising. And I think, well, yeah, you but, you know... Prime Minister. Yeah, I know. I mean, I think the, the question... The no, no, I understand that. And, and I suppose if you judge people by who it is that you spend time with, um, the question has to be, do you, know where, do you remember where you were on the 27th of May 2007? I'm sure you're going to tell me. Yes, I am. So you were in Syria um, and you were celebrating at a reception the re-election of President Assad with a 99% uh, percentage of the vote. Now, I'm not going to judge you on you going to a reception with Assad and I don't think that people should judge Jeremy by, by trying to talk to people who might be open to a settlement in Northern Ireland. Is this I think true? there's a little bit is of a difference. Is this true? I, there was a parliamentary visit. I, I was on a parliamentary all-party visit to uh, Syria Back in 2007, MPs have gone every year to Syria during the better times uh, in the relationship between Syria and Britain. But you were at the party, weren't you? I don't recall any party in Syria. I remember a fact-finding visit to Syria. That happened every year with MPs going out there. Did, did but the you difference, meet, of did course... Did you meet Assad when you were there? Uh, I did meet Assad, indeed. indeed. Shake his hand and... In, indeed, I met and Assad. And you celebrated oh, his re-election. Ten years... Well, yes, I didn't celebrate Well, it was, that was what the reception was for. Nonsense. It was for celebrating his re-election. Nonsense. Ten years ago, we had a different okay. relationship with Assad here. But there's a huge moral difference between talking to other foreign leaders, and I meet them all the time as Defence Secretary, and uh, Jeremy Corbyn's quite open support for the IRA, which was actually engaged Excuse in Northern Ireland. Excuse not having Island. open support for the IRA. Well, you really he, can't just doing? go around he, making this stuff up. There's an election on, and people need to make decisions had, on the basis of the truth. Parliament. You've just said, for example, that I want to negotiate the future of the Falklands. That is... I did that not. Is what? Just say it again. Come on. It that is, is untrue. That you is implied untrue. Just, just 20 minutes ago. You implied sitting there that oh, there should come be some on, Michael. international you just, you kind really, of settlement. You know, you really just can't make this up as you go along. People think, need to make decisions in this general election based on facts well, and based on you, information, proper information. And it's not right for you to go slinging around dead cats the way that you do. You've, you know, people need to concentrate and work mm, out because there's told, a serious choice to be there made. Is, and you've told us your excuse is Jeremy Corbyn is on. Side some kind of journey. Well, that is too great a risk for this country. No, Somebody no, who's against no. a nuclear deterrent, against NATO, soft on terrorism. In relation to NATO, there has been a...